In last week's episode, we started our adventure at Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel, where we took a snow coach to get to Yellowstone National Park. And of course, we made a lot of stops on the way to enjoy Barrel Spring, Bison on the Road, and the gorgeous Gibbon Waterfalls. We got to the Old Faithful Lodge, checked in, and immediately headed out to enjoy the beautiful and famous Old Faithful Geyser. We missed the eruption by a couple of minutes, and so in today's episode, this is where we're gonna start our adventure by heading back to the geyser. We just uh, finished watching uh, Old Faithful. Chili spectacular. Yeah, it's blast. Chili! Beef chili! That's a beef. Cookie! I'm gonna go check out a room and then we will uh, <coughs> do an adventure a bit further away from the lodge. Love it. We are going to check our rooms and get changed and then go on our next adventure. Yeah, very cool. I wonder if they have the, the chess pieces. Would you play with them? Sure. a tour of our room. As we enter, you get to see what I'm not going to show you yet. We'll start with the timeout chair. This nice little chair over here that you can put people in when they fail to adventure hard enough. Ha ha! Will it be me or will it not be me? <laughs> we got our little Sink outside of the bathroom. Actually, this is the first time I've been in a hotel where it's not in some way connected to the restroom. But, a restroom. Typical little tub. Nice shower head. Towels, 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 and a quiz. Is Yellowstone National Park home to more bison or more guest towels? Let's find out. We stock about 24,237 guest towels, about 4,900 bison live in the park. At least we don't have to wash the bison. Noted. Alrighty, let's continue on. Then we've got our hair dryer. So if you're like me and you have no hair on your head, but you have a wonderful beard, and you don't know how to use a hand dryer, or hair dryer, meh, on. You got nothing. Doesn't work. I'm sure it's wonderful. I just am not educated. Fancy little towels with refreshed stuff down here. Makeup memory or makeup remover wipes. And they've got a little bear shape or soap shaped like a bear. These little pumps. I wonder if they're stuck to the yeah, they're stuck to the thing. So you can't take them. Some, some fancy faucets. Oh boy. Little towels, little spot for your shoes or other things. If you look ahead, you'll see a rare Moroccan woman in the wild. <laughs> Yes, roaming freely. So, Be quiet, we don't want to scare her away. I really like that they are doing, putting a lot of effort into recycling. They have separated for recycle, compost, and landfill. It's really cool. So they're like tilted trash cans on the inside there? Yeah. Awesome, very good. Now, that's the cool thing number one. Cool thing number two, they had 
some Valentine's treat for us. And this is what? Happy Valentine's from Yellowstone National Park Lodges. Caramel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Tasty. That's so thoughtful. This is really nice. And really thoughtful. I'm looking forward to having some. And then that's the room. Ooh. I will say, actually. Okay, no, this is a very nice room. We have the single king. And I love the lamps. They look like Moroccan uh, traditional handmade lamps. Clip it on there. There's a switch to the side of the top. So it's like the, the box. Oh, I think, I think, is it these? Oh, there's oh, a light switch. Magic. <laughs> got it. Okay. Oh. Hey. Yeah, and we got a nice chair here. And a nice little wooden closet. Yeah. And we've got a little Who view. And we got to sit down and read, which probably won't happen this year. Yeah. Week. And then a beautiful copy from the window. We're filming them. Cross country skiing. <laughs> oh man, look at them go. They could be us, baby. A few moments later. We went to the ski rentals, which happened to be in the lodge itself. We rented shoes, cross country skis. And we got a lot of tips and recommendations on trails to go for as first time cross country skiers. Uh, so we're here at the snow lodge. Sure. What you're gonna want to do is go across the street in front of the visitor center. You'll see the Old Faithful Inn. Just go right in front of the Old Faithful Inn. And once you get to this dark blue line, that's gonna be all ski attracting room. So you'll have ski tracks that you can get into. That'll take you out there. That's about 1.6 miles. Okay. So you're looking at about three miles if you go out there and back. Takes you by Morning Glory, Grand Geyser or Castle Geyser is great. You'll see Grand Geyser in the distance. You can see Riverside go off if you want. And then this is the five mile loop that you're talking about. Yeah, Once yeah. you get past here, it won't be groomed anymore. You go out to Bisca Basin, you can carry your skis across and then make this lollipop loop back here and then come back down there. Or we can just flip around, I guess. At any Bisca point, Basin, yeah. And, and I mean, like, even if you go this way, you can just come right back down there. Right, right. All right, I guess we're doing this. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Using the cross-country skis for the first time was pretty straightforward. I mean, they are slightly different than your regular skis, but the concept is you are clipped in from the toes, but the heels are free and you're pretty much just walking, I guess. This one is Grotto Geyser. It's really cool. I love it so much because it's very tiny, still erupts, and a lot of steam. So we're almost done here with this trail. Uh, it's only 1.6 mile, probably even less than that. And the reason is because we need to head back to, to the lodge for dinner reservations at five, and we don't want to miss that. Okay, I actually just fell a little bit uh, before the end of the trail here because there was like a bit of a hill. That was fun. <laughs> anyway, so we made it to this pool here and we're gonna start heading back in a moment.
This one's having a blast. <laughs> Look at the rainbow around it. That's pretty cool. So on the trail, there's a lot of these dry spots where the thermals melt the snow. Kind of have to kick off your skis if you want. A lot of people seem to be making these alternate paths. What do you think of this though? I'm wondering if it's in coordination with Old Faithful. Looks like if you look in the distance here, Old Faithful is blowing some smoke. I guess blowing some steam, some hot air. These puns of land. California Cations all the way back there. Also digging the view. It is a lot of fun. Go cross country skiing. It might not be like just sliding for free all the time. A little up, little down, but it's fun and it's neat. You can see geysers. You know, if you go Yellowstone. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was looking at that too. Aviva's also pumped up about the rainbow. Actually, I can see just a little bit of the rainbow just over there. You guys want to see Habiba shedding a tear? Biba, come hold Boo Boo's hand. Don't, don't fall. Come to me, come to me. Look good, because you're on camera. <laughs> Get over here, give me a hug. But sure enough, there are some bison just doing their thing right here. And we're just skiing. And what did the mama bison say to her little baby before she went to school? She said, bye son. There's the beebs. There's that castle geyser still just plowing away. That's amazing. Aviva's got my camera too, which has all the space on it. So she's master of the pictures right now. I think right here, you can see this is probably where they want to cross. I 
it looks like they came right over there. You can see their hoof prints. Hoof, 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 hoof. Hoof, hoof, hoof. And then they went out there. Having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the beaver coming out the final stretch before dinner. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my mouth. Okay. okay. You need to grow a mustache like me. Do I? <laughs> no, no, you need to grow a mustache like me. Oh. Right, here's the beaver trying to take off her skis. And didn't want to show you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just slide over. And. And. Hey, got him. Boop, boop, boop. <sighs> Alrighty. I'm so excited for dinner. We made it back to the lodge right on time to return our ski rentals, catch our breath, and enjoy our Valentine's Day dinner reservation. And with that, we wrapped up for the day. We enjoyed everything about being in the park. We enjoyed cross country skiing for the first time. And of course we enjoyed each other's company. And now it's time for some sleep to relax and get ready for tomorrow's adventure. See you guys in the next episode. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, your trekking pals Habiba and Alex, and we'll see you soon in another adventure.